Hello friends, happy Black Friday. It is rainy, yucky. Victoria's in coat and galoshes. I, uh, very silly of me, left my coat in the house and I'm not going back in together. Thank you, car, for welcoming us. Uh, it is Black Friday evening. As you can see, the sun is starting to go down and we're going to go to Top Dog Comics. You have seen me go to Top Dog before if you've watched some of my older videos. It used to be in a pawn shop. And now, say hello. Hello. Chicken, it is in a standalone shop. And I've not been there since it is. They're a sideshow retailer. I got Mezco. They got everything there. And uh, he has some Black Friday sales. So I'm going to go check that out. And then later, we will go to Barnes & Noble uh, to see what their Black Friday stuff is. And then we're going to see Creed after that. So a little hunt video for you. Uh, anything that's happened on Black Friday before this, you will catch in episode five of Dub Life, which should be coming out uh, on Sunday as you're watching this. So in a few days, you'll see a much longer, it's a very long episode. I warn you, it's uh, probably the longest I've made yet, but it's a full entire week of Dub Life. So look forward to that. But for now, what do you hope you find at the comic store? Oh, I was just gonna say Michael B. Jordan, but that's later. Well, if Michael B. Jordan is at Top Dog Comics, it would be quite a good day, good holiday. <laughs> we have arrived, Top Dog Comics, Augusta, Georgia. Let's see. Or just when I put it out. Right away, that Thor statue is fantastic. Got a couple detoffs. Some of that love. Everything else. Got our Black Friday sale, we're checking out. Oh, I hear G.I. Joe music. Bunch of Black Series. About every one of the recent ones, it seems. 25% off pops. I can find a pop I need. What you looking at, Victoria? I'm looking at various Spider-Man pops. Spider-Man pops, huh? Mm -hmm. An Iron Spider. Iron Spider. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Chala. <laughs> it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. Look. We found Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> That's what you said you were here for. That's true. More Star Wars here, and I'll kind of give you a pan around. I see some hot toys and Sideshow and Mezco over there. Some more pops here. A little bit of everything. Big Boy and Captain Crunch. Asia Pop exclusive. That's like the Thor. I'd like to get that Thor. Couple chases up here. Nice selection of the bots here. Hunger. Hunger. Got some legends. Looks like uh, single figures, eighteen dollars each, which is good. Most of the new wave stuff, some of the older things. Oh, some more over here. Very cool. Got the vintage waves. Not bad. Some older stuff. Fantastic Four. That Annihilus. Various other things. Old Arnim Zola wave. Got old G.I. Joe in the background. That's right. The Yarks. A lot of good stuff up there. 10% on that. The horror section over here. Got a Leatherface six scale and Pinhead six scale. Not sure, it looks like Sideshow maybe. NECA stuff. Got a Godzilla Monster Arts. Walking Dead. Oh, Boondock Saints. Huh. That's kind of sports section. Some wrestling. Ugh. Boo. Ben Roethlisberger. Off to Mezco while we listen to Mr. Joe's. Doctor Who intrigues me. Some good stuff back here. Lots of Mezco. Let's 
This is an entire case of blind bag stuff. Some of them open, some of them not. I gotta look at the... That's a regular one. See what I need. <laughs> Tenth Doctor, Victoria. That's your doctor. Yeah, he's my favorite. David Tennant. I'm sure somewhere out there there's a rose, one of these. <laughs> and he's on the good sale. I think he's going to have to come home. <laughs> Some DC love. These figures here. I like that penguin. There are a few selects I would consider up here. to show you that Gambit's cool to have it, but that stealth Iron Man there. And that's the what if Captain America where it's the Iron Man with the shield. I like that figure too. Considering those, that Thanos, so like Thanos is one of my favorites. And also the select Goblin is very good. Thinking about these, they look fantastic. That was Top Dog Comics, and we are big fans of this store in Augusta. Chris is the owner, very nice guy. Uh, we've been shopping with him for a while. Back when uh, he was at the pawn shops, there were three pawn shops that he kind of uh, sublet space in. I don't know, it's kind of unusual, but cool store. He's very nice. He always uh, does us right when we're in there. So I did pick up that uh, 10th Doctor, six scale figure. I think Beef. Big, no, about beef, oh, Big Chief Studios is the name of the studio that makes that. And I was 25% off, so you can't complain with that on six scale figures for Black Friday. And then Victoria got some items. Yes, we got Tormund. Oh, Tormund from Game of Thrones. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. she ships Tormund and Brienne. I do. Or Tormund and me, whichever. Uh, and then we've got this really cool Spider-Man who's like in the pose elevated. Yeah, pose shooting the web. Collector's yeah. core. Uh, Pops are also 25% off, so I think those both were less than $10 each, I think, is what they ended up being. So he had a great Black Friday sale going on. He also, um, I don't really even have to negotiate or anything anymore. He just tends to give us the best prices. So happy with that. Let's go to Barnes & Noble. We've actually been to this Barnes & Noble a few times this week. This is about as empty as the parking lot has been, but now the uh, paranormal... Cirque du Soleil tent is fully up and running. Although, that doesn't look like that big a tent for a full Cirque show. Maybe it's just like one guy running around. This is one of their Black Friday special. Buy this book, which is actually on my wish list. You get the George R. R. Martin pop, which I kind of want. So, hmm. Get some Gundam stuff, models. The normal things. Looks like they've stocked up on some Dragon Ball, Nappa, Vegeta, Roshi, Trunks. They actually got quite a bit SHF down there. That's nice. Donatello's still leaning in. Over here, a bunch of the magical creatures. And Niffler, Fox, Buckbeak Dobby, Hedwig. We've got a tremendous Harry Potter section right now set up, which is one of the reasons we're here. All these wands that may get purchased. We got these die cast metal. I don't know what those are. Why well, Panther figure arts over there? And these Lord of the Rings mystery boxes, but I'm good on the mystery box front at the moment. Now, this could be where to use the discount coupon to pick up all eight Harry Potters on 4K. Mm. Well, I'm very glad I did a quick price check on Amazon before buying that because I saw it was the Black Friday deal of the day for 79 bucks. So we took that approach. I cannot seem to find any Marvel Legends, but here's some of the Lego stuff. Is that a, uh... oh, that's kind of cool. Somewhere there must be Marvel Legends. There are Star Wars Code of Ikea. And some of the Samurai Troopers. But I cannot find any Marvel Legends. So I've decided the best use of my stacked coupon situation is to get this. 
the Dumbledore's Army one, two, three, four, five, six wand set with display for the wall. I'm getting it. Look at that big theater. <laughs> We're going to see Creed. Victoria got the Elder Wand. I did. I got the Dumbledore Army Wand Collection. So success at Barnes and Noble. And then uh, you saw the Pops and the Tenth Doctor mm -hmm. that we got at Top Dog. So hope you enjoyed this little mini hunt, Victoria and I. Yeah. Victoria, any words of wisdom? Um. Well, if I had the Elder Wand, I would cast a spell, but it's in the car. Would it be a spell that said touch it? Probably not. No. Sorry. See you in the next video.